how do you address the banned books? Some people said, I wish my book were banned. When your book is banned, that means people are paying attention. We need to make sure that we purchase those banned books. Ty and Nisi Coates talks about having banned book parties, supporting them through the libraries and schools. So we have to embrace banned books because that means you are making a difference. You're saying something. The publishing houses that are emerging tend to be small and independent. The way you ensure their survival is through consortiums. So you have a choice when you purchase a book or going to someplace like Amazon or going to the African American Literary Book Club, which is the largest online site for books published by Black writers. You're going to Third World Press and purchasing directly from them or Just Us Books. Cheryl and Wade Hudson, they have the oldest children's and YA literature. Those publishing houses are not going to survive unless we support them. And it might be a little bit more money, but when we're not supporting them, we are not helping them to make a difference. We have to be intentional and deliberate about supporting independent publishers, small publishers, and saving, spending that extra money or taking the, the time to get a book from a publishing house that's not going to turn it over in, in one day through Amazon Prime. That's how we ensure their survival. Alice Walker said, we are the ones we are waiting for. 